Joining us for a bit more on this, Royal Commentator Emily Andrews. Good to see you, Emily. I'm sure you're glued to the programme. I know I am. Um, but is, is Gary Gulls with any more of an authority on Harry or Meghan or even Kate and William than we are? But, well, we know you are. That's your expertise. But, I mean, ordinary people watching TV, going about their daily business, can have a view. Is his view any more compelling or convincing than theirs? Well, good question. I mean, at least I have actually met Harry and Meghan. Um, so that's the start, I think, more than Gary Goldsmith. But I think he was kind of speaking for us all when he said you can't expect to throw your family under a bus and write books about it and talk about it on international TV and then be expected to be invited round for Christmas. Look, I mean, he's very funny. He is a self-professed a bunkle, a bad mm. uncle. He described himself as a toddler on sugar. And look, you know, he did have a very close relationship with a young Catherine Middleton and indeed Pippa and James, um, his niece and nephew, and of course his sister and his only sibling, Carol Middleton, who's Kate's mum. Um, William and Kate were very close to Gary and they went on holiday with them when they were, before they got married. Now, now that he's spoken quite a lot in the media, are he and Kate so close? No, I don't think they are. I think Kate keeps him at arm's length, so to speak. But does his opinion count more than others? Yes, perhaps, because, you know, he does know Kate and does know her mum and does know the way she thinks. I suppose that's true, but you could imagine, couldn't you, Carol Middleton, very carefully making sure that she doesn't pick up the phone to her brother and tell him all the secrets and say, you know, what's really going on and give him the lowdown. Because obviously he has looked always, hasn't he, as if he's had a bit of a penchant for publicity. And we all know that you can be the uncle that says not a word and is the soul of discretion, or the uncle who goes on Celebrity Big Brother. I mean, it's his choice what he's done. He's chosen to do this. I would imagine she would have carefully made sure he doesn't know anything at all. No, I mean, I absolutely agree. There were some suggestions in the press that she'd read in the Riot Act. I suspect, actually, she did that a long time ago. And she is very, very careful in how she manages the presentation of her family. You only have to look at how she's managed herself and her husband, Mike, Michael Middleton. I mean, they haven't really put a foot wrong, even after the whole sort of party pieces went bust debacle. Mm -hmm. And so I would have thought that whilst she... Well, I know that whilst she views family as incredibly important, she has held her brother at arm's length. Because, of course, you know he's been in trouble with the law before he's been arrested for um uh i mean i'm not sure if i can say live on tv i mean it was reported in the press at the time but i don't think any charges were were, were brought um against i think one of his former partners and so he is has does come with certain of a reputation mm. and certainly when it comes to things like kate's illness and you know why she's been in hospital that's been kept that information been kept to a very very small group of people and Absolutely, Gary Goldsmith will not be one of those people. No, quite. Um, it's been said by some commentators that he's shown a lack of taste in deciding to do this now when his niece has been so very unwell. I mean, so unwell that she was in hospital for a full 14 nights. That's very unusual. And so unwell that she isn't going to be seen as the Ministry of Defence let slip that she would be or, or probably won't be seen at that event in uh, in, in in June. You know, she's, she's, she's really having to convalesce and recover break maybe this wasn't the moment to do it well i think there are two things here taking gary goldsmith first i think probably when contracts were signed when he signed up to do celebrity big brother it was probably negotiated his agent probably negotiated it sometime last year and so no one would have known probably not even kate or Catherine herself would have known that she would have ended up in hospital um secondly on the trooping the colonel review which is this thing that obviously the mod put out yesterday it was an advertisement to come and have to come and buy tickets. It's a week before Trooping the Colour. It's in June. Kate is Colonel of the Irish Guards. And so I think what happened, it was just, a, it was a mess up. I mean, it's just very, very unfortunate. They put it out. They assumed that it would just go ahead without checking with Kensington Palace. And Kensington Palace are very sensitive at the moment. They were like, hang on a sec. No, no engagement is announced without consulting us first, without okaying it. And they hadn't been consulted. So that was why I think that they had asked the MOD to pull that advertisement. But obviously, you know, it does it does raise questions. If Kensington Palace aren't happy to say, yes, Catherine will be back in June, or even if they're not happy to say, we expect she will be, we hope she will be, as we said back in January, she'll be back after the Easter holidays, then it does sort of set more of those hairs running. And, and so do you think there is anxiety and consternation at Adelaide Cottage? Do you think William and Catherine, as she convalesces, are watching Celebrity Big Brother, wondering who most of the people in there are because they don't recognise them, and then thinking, blimey, Uncle Gary, just put a sock in it? 
No, I don't actually. I think that Carol is a very forceful personality. I mean, I must say I've never actually met Carol, but I have spent quite a bit of time with Catherine. And I think that Carol is quite a forceful personality. And so um, I've never met Gary either, but from what I can see, he is too. And I think actually everything he's always said about William and Kate has always been very, very complimentary. So I suspect that William and Kate would sort of look at him and think, oh, it's just Gary being Gary. And that's fine because... He's never critical of them. Thank you so much, Emily. It was a pleasure to see you.